these keys could be yours. I mean, not these ones. These are my house keys, but I mean, this one going to this ignition that starts up this truck with 84,000 miles. It's going to be 85 here soon, but you get the point. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are in the 84,000 mile virgin because you guys just love hearing that. That you guys can now enter to win, which by the way, you have 25X entries live right now. And those 25X entries end in just five more days on September 6th is your last day and your last chance for 25X entries. When I say it's your last day for 25X entries, I also mean this. 25X entries will not be back for the rest of the giveaway. And when I say this, no higher entry period will be back for the rest of the giveaway either. Okay, so 25X will end on September 6th and no higher deal than 25X will be back the entire giveaway and 25X will not be back either. So get in while it's hot. First week of the giveaway, here we go. Let's do this. If you guys are gonna enter, I highly, highly recommend you get our monthly subscription boxes these things reagan has put so much time into and these boxes have exclusive merch you cannot find anywhere else in the store and when i say that i mean like what comes in these boxes you will not be able to find anywhere else on our store we've never sold them in the past and the other thing about the monthly mystery boxes is you get entered automatically into every single giveaway and you get one every single month so it's pretty freaking sweet they're awesome and mystery boxes never get less than 20x entries so right now you're going to get 25x if you buy a mystery box but even when it drops down to let's say 1x which it will drop down to 1x for a few weeks mystery boxes still always get 20x so if you guys want to get in on those mystery boxes i'm telling you it is a freaking steal of a deal first off your products are discounted because you get more bang for the buck with the mystery boxes B, you get entered into every single giveaway no matter what and the other thing is you always get 20x entries guaranteed thanks so much for all the love and all the support let's get on to the next segment of the video and hopefully we can get a whole bunch of stuff done to this truck today Okay guys, so we've got some of the accessories to go on this truck here. We've got new tow mirrors, new fog lights, new third brake light, new LED headlights, but the housings for the headlights have not come in yet, which is basically the whole headlight piece has not arrived yet. I don't know if it'll be here today yet. If not, it'll be here tomorrow is my hopes. Even from Amazon, there's randomly products that just don't have tracking. It, so like it says, it will be here on a certain day. And then there's no tracking, so I don't know for sure where it's at. But it should be here any day now, which, by the way, will tie the whole front end of this truck together. And I'll show you what I mean once we get some of our other stuff done. Cab lights are also supposed to be here today. At least that's what tracking said. So we will get to this as much done as we can in today's video with the mirrors and fog lights and other accessories that we've got. And let's get this thing completely matching blacked out and more aggressive okay guys so i got the tiny little sport mirror off and here's the new tow mirror tow mirror number one is on and installed everything works i tested the power and everything you can see the left every function works tow mirror little baby sport mirror i i just i still cannot i can't wrap my head around why they put these on this truck but yeah uh factory option but still i don't get it fourth gen mirrors are on both sides now Next step is going to be the fog lights. Let's get those changed out. These fog lights do actually work on this truck. They are actually factory wired and they have the factory switch, which is very, very nice. So I've actually got the same fog lights for this truck that I actually bought for the white 
Thurgeon that we just give away. So if you guys wanna uh, check these out, these things are super sick. So they're full LED and they are freaking bright. I got the blacked out housings because I thought it'd go very nicely with the paint of the truck, which it will. So we're gonna get these things swapped out and then I'm gonna show you what they look like once they're done. But since I've already done this before, I'm not gonna show you step by step, but just know that if your truck has factory fog lights, these will actually bolt on like factory and just plug right in. Couple of things with the third gen here. A, fourth gen mirrors are on. B, LED black housing fog lights are in with the jewels. Those are freaking mint. And then we also got, bam, the blacked out third brake light. Still waiting on tail lights. They're supposed to be here today and the headlights and the cab lights. And then everything's gonna be completely murdered out. It's gonna be awesome. The only thing about it is it's still got the silver two-tone. And I get it. Some guys are like, oh my gosh, you should have the lower half of the truck painted. Here's the problem with that, guys. I didn't find a truck that was this clean that didn't need paint to go and paint stuff. <laughs> like. You know what I mean? And when I say that, I don't mean I wouldn't do that depending on the truck, but when you pay money and you look hard for one that doesn't need any paint and body work, and then you take a truck that doesn't technically need it at all because it's already in great shape, and then you take it to the paint shop anyways, defeats the whole purpose of saving money on one that needs paint, you know, if you're gonna buy one that doesn't need it, you know, cause I could have got one for a few grand cheaper that had a bunch of peeling clear coat and I could have painted the entire truck solid or whatever I wanted and not really had to double think it. Now, since this is already such good shape, I'd just be painting that just to make it all black, which maybe some people would like that, I understand. But for me personally, I really like the two-tone on the truck and I feel like there's other people that like it as well. And I didn't buy a truck in perfect condition to repaint stuff that didn't need repainted. I thought I would take this as an opportunity to talk to you guys about Rosine. Now, if you saw my wife's video on her channel, she already made a video about what happened to her truck. And I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail on what happened. I'm just gonna tell you my side of the experience and the phone call I got and stuff. So I was actually on my way over to my parents' house because I was gonna be helping my grandmother fix the headlights on her car. As soon as they pull in the driveway, my mom runs out to the car, freaking out, saying, oh my gosh, Reagan called me. She's crying. She said she wrecked her truck. The whole thing's ruined, all this other stuff. And she's like, you better go there quick. Just make sure you're nice and loving and all this other stuff so she doesn't feel bad, you know, and all this, which I was gonna be anyways, because if, you know, even if it's a small fender bender, people are already upset. There's no sense in making them more upset. So that's just, you just gotta understand that in those situations, luckily. I already understand that, you know, freaking out on somebody over an accident is not going to make the accident go away or make it any better. So there's just no point in it. And so I called her, you know, she said, oh my gosh, I feel terrible. The whole truck's ruined. You know, you just got it done for me, all this other stuff. And I was like, babe, it's okay. It's just a truck. They're just parts. If I replaced them once, I can do it again. It's not a big deal. Are you guys okay? And she's like, yeah, no, we're totally fine. Baby didn't even wake up, but I just, I just feel so bad. I ruined the whole truck and I'm like, so like in my mind, I'm kind of thinking like the whole truck, you ruined the whole truck. Like, did you side swipe a median and just completely trash the whole side of the truck? Did you hit something head on and completely destroy the front like radiator and front core support and bumper and grill and everything? Like what happened? You know, like I'm thinking what happened? So I get here, I drive 15 minutes across town. I get here and the worst of it was her valance hanging off the front. And I'm like, what did you hit? And she's like, well, it's like this two foot barrier, you know, and I tried to stop and I just hardly hit it. And then it, you know, hit my bumper. And I'm like, all it really did was rip your valance off, which to be honest, you already said you'd rather have it off anyway. So I'm like, I think you're in pretty good shape. There was no leaks, no radiator issue, no nothing that I, that we could think of. And then of course she gets the truck back here two days later it doesn't want to start i don't know why it sounds like a fuel priming issue so we're gonna to have to figure out if the fuel pumps not working the sump's not working the lift pumps not working like we're gonna to have to try to figure out what it is exactly but at least it's in the driveway when that happens and not you know a couple hours from home so let me show you the damage on rosine now it is still kind of a bummer but like it could have been way worse and so you know what actually happened was before people, you know, are like, oh my gosh, the girl didn't have to drive her truck. No, guys, it was a freaking monsoon. Like when I got the call and my mom said that, I was like, I know what happened. I'm like, she probably hit some water or something and just couldn't stop the truck on the water, obviously. And it hit something, you know, so 
I've done the same thing before. I just didn't hit anything. Pouring rain, I'm trying to make a left turn across an intersection, you know, you're waiting for it to be clear. You got an opening, you're gonna make your left turn and then you hit the throttle just a little bit too much and then you lose traction, your tires are just spinning and then you have an option. You either completely let out and then slowly lay into it, hopefully that you can gain traction or if you're just in the moment and you're just thinking, I gotta go faster, you just kind of put your foot a little bit more into the pedal and then when you're on water or snow or ice, obviously, depending on the situation, if it's a lot or a little, it can spin the back end of your truck over and you can kind of lose control for a little bit there. So all that being said, let me show you the worst of the damage here. So when I walked up to the truck at first, this is what I saw and I was like, what's wrong with it? You know, except for the balance was hanging down. I was like, well, what's wrong with it? You know, thinking like, you know, nothing's that bad. Go to look around, I'm looking around, I'm like, oh man, you know, so, you know, the, the fender didn't really get chewed up much, um, but it was just this bumper got real chipped. It popped out of alignment here and it got chipped. And the reason it popped out of alignment is because when she hit that uh, median, it was down low right here. And it actually did bend this small part of the bumper down low. And then what it also did was put a big gash in it right here. But for the most part, this can be fixed. This can be bent back a little bit, and then this can be filled with Bondo or whatever he, we gotta do. I mean, it's a pretty it's a pretty sharp gash. It's almost like a hole. Um, it's not really like just a little pressed and dent that you can just kind of like pull. But you know, it, it is what it is. You know, it, it could have been a lot worse, and I'm just glad Reagan is okay and baby is okay. Um, but then when it pushed in down low and it bent that, it, made a real small crinkle in the bumper up here too but yeah you know i mean it's just one of those things where it's a vehicle yeah we just got it done but we can always get it done again and then here's her valance i just that day when it happened i just kind of strapped it in here um, but the valance is actually other than a couple little gashes right here the valance is actually still in really good shape other than the paint got all scraped off on the other side because the valance is what took all the the abuse the valance is what slid across that thing and paint sticking to plastic is already a little bit uh, more of a challenge as it is and then when it just scrapes across metal and concrete i mean as you can imagine it's gonna it's gonna rip most of it off so um that's what happened with that but for the most part that's in pretty darn good shape if she decides she wants it back on but what do you guys say valance back on keep valance off part of me thinks maybe she did this on purpose to get a fog light bumper because that's what she really wanted but luckily she didn't really get it that bad so probably not going to be getting a fog light bumper right now i went through a lot of hassle even just to find that one and that was a pain in the butt and there is some topic to talk about with nasty red you guys were relentless in the previous video in the comments and so i ended up calling my dad after he had already hauled it there he'd already come all the way back you know three hour drive and had it in by the time that video went up the truck was already hauled off in the auction yard pretty much in line to get listed on their website to start getting bid on like like today basically and then um nasty red will be making its return here very soon stay tuned for the next video i'm going to go into some more details on that if you have not done so yet enter to win this beautiful 5.9 combines with only 84,000 miles on it by going to lmpgear.com buying anything on the store like a hat a shirt a hoodie keychains decals get a mystery box i would suggest you get the mystery boxes because you get some pretty freaking sweet gear that you can't get unless you get the mystery boxes you get cool stuff that nobody else has ever seen before if you get the mystery box 25x will not be back and this is the highest deal of the entire giveaway i will say this again it will not be back and no higher deal will be back so thanks so much guys i'll catch you in the next video peace